This tutorial is going to look at some of the troubleshooting facilities that have been built into Windows 7. It should give you a good idea of how to troubleshoot Windows 7. A useful program for troubleshooting in Windows 7 is the Event Viewer. This will tell you what has happened to your computer recently. Click the Start Orb and into the Search Programs and Files box, type Event Viewer and press Return. The main window here will provide details on problems from the last week. These are rated into different event types depending on the problem. The most problematic events are called critical and usually involve an unexpected shutdown, such as when the battery on your laptop runs out. There are also error, warning, information and audit success options for non-critical events. If a program has crashed, then Task Manager is what you want to use to restart the program. This sort of event would appear later in Event Viewer. Press Ctrl, Alt and Delete on the keyboard and the lock screen will appear and you need to click Start Task Manager. You will be presented with a list of programs currently running on your computer. None of them are malfunctioning in this tutorial, but if they were, the status would read Not Responding. If that is the case, you won't be able to use the program and probably won't be able to shut it down using the regular close button. Let's pretend Internet Explorer is not responding and we need to close it. Click on Internet Explorer in the task column and click End Task in the bottom right of the window. The program will close and you can then open it again as you normally would and it probably won't be malfunctioning. This is a very basic introduction for learning how to troubleshoot Windows 7.